Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to WatchYouWant.com. Today, we're looking at the Linda Verdlin Spider Speed 2 Extreme Sports Watch, the brainchild of Jorn Verdlin and Morton Linda. This is my favorite alternative to the Hublot Big Bang King Power and the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak Offshore. If you're looking for a big, bold, contemporary sports watch, really in the mold of a outlandish techno professional style, something that is just inspired and of the machine world. This is an exemplar. The bottom line is this company came about in 2002 and it was born of the modern age. People who liked luxury for its own sake but also wanted to have something that expressed the machine within because luxury in the modern age doesn't mean an expensive watch, it means a mechanical watch. And if you're buying a watch for the sake of the machine inside, why not bring the machine inside outward? And that's what the designer of the tandem, Morton Linda, actually does. He takes what could be considered an evolved Bauhaus aesthetic, bring the machine on the inside to the outside, have a device express its function and its purpose in its form. And this is a very modernist interpretation of that original Walter Gropius philosophy that gave rise to an entire generation of art, architecture, furniture, interior design. But here, you're getting a look at a Danish inflection of that philosophy. Now, the company is based out of London, Copenhagen, and Switzerland. The business offices in London, design is done in Copenhagen, Denmark, and manufacturing is actually done in Switzerland. Right from the outset, they decided that they wanted watches that were focused on land sports and water sports. And the Spido line is the land sports line. You can see right here a highly technical aesthetic. For the Spido Light 2, they wanted to have a complex interplay of swells and troughs, of bold, Co basically convex forms and at the same time they wanted to have relieved channels the ins and outs of the machine and at the same time this case as highly contoured textured relieved and skeletonized as it is it does have an overwhelming functional purpose which is to dock with either the reef or the rock computer that can be used in the case of the rock for uh, skiing, it has an altimeter, it has a barometer, it has an avalanche condition warning sensor, thermometer, data logging, you name it, it has it. And it docks with this device via these two uh, wing ports right here. You can see the sort of a little inlet on each side, these little wing port slots. They dock with the device. Now it does have 10 ATM water resistance, so that's 100 meters. So if you wanted to use the reef diving device, which has, you know, triaxial compass, data logging, it has multiple dive timers, thermometers, you name it. Everything you need for diving. If you've kind of made fun of people who buy, you know, $10,000 Rolex Submariner and Sea Dweller references to go diving with 1950s technology, you can maintain your dignity and your integrity by buying one of these. You can maintain that modern dive computer functionality with the mechanical watch elegance, cachet, and technical interest when you're on land. So there's a lot of versatility here, both in terms of the watch itself and the ability to accessorize. Now the watch itself features this highly articulated case made out of titanium. The dial itself is fully skeletonized down to the back of the movement base plate, and that's part of the concept. Bring the machine outward, and that includes opening the machine inside to the view of the owner. And that's true of both sides. Now the Spidolite, which is one of only 100 constructed, Made in titanium, features a caliber known as the Linda Verdlin LW4, sometimes called the Concepto 2251. It was designed by Valerian Jacquet of Concepto Manufacturer of Le Chaux de Fonds, Switzerland, expressly for this application. Now, it is automatic winding. It has a 42-hour power reserve, very durable. The movement in particular has been reinforced against the kind of shocks that sports watches encounter in contemporary use by luxury watch owners. Everyone wants th their watch to basically be a Rolex these days in terms of durability, and that's the standard everyone, especially Linda Verdlin, has learned to live up to, and they do a fantastic job. Every detail down to the composition of the strap is geared towards durability. Now the top of the strap is a technical fiber based in Kevlar, very tough. The bottom, for supple wear on the wrist, is a natural calfskin. Feels very smooth, very comfortable, and it allows this large watch, which is about 44 millimeters from side to side, about 46 millimeters from lug to lug, to wear comfortably and conform tightly to the wrist. Now, that's my wrist. That's six and a third inches, or about 16 centimeters for our metric friends. The watch fits naturally. There is none of the resistance to curving over the contour of the wrist that you sometimes get 
with a seamless strap that has no gap between the case lug and the end of the strap. This doesn't want to flare out. It doesn't fight you the way some of the AP 44 millimeter offshore straps can try to fight you when you try to tighten it up on an average sized wrist. And the nice thing is, since Linda Verdlin sticks with the tried and true titanium pin buckle, it's very easy to size. You don't have to worry about struggling to close a deployant when you have it set to one of the tighter settings. Very convenient. In my opinion, this is the way all sports watches should be, and that's my strong preference for any kind of sports watch, dive watch or otherwise. Other features of the watch include a very complex dial that includes a lot of delicate features. Now, asymmetry is a big part of the Linda Verdlin design ethic, and it starts with the off-center sub-seconds at 9 o'clock, but there's more to it than that. Subtly balanced against the off-center sub-seconds is this skeletonized date wheel. Not just the date window itself, the date wheel has been skeletonized here. Now I can read that it's the 15th right now because as that skeletonized wheel moves over the 3 o'clock position, there's actually a light plate underneath it that allows that skeletonized stencil to stand out so I can read the date with ease. I can also see the train that's driving the hands as well as the wheel that's driving the date. And it's a fascinating device to watch when you're setting the date as the changeover is actuated. There's a lot of visual interest created there. And and the Linda Verdlin logo, off-center just past the 7 index right here, is a signature element that fans of the brand have learned to look for. They continue to incorporate it delicately and elegantly into their dials. And there's a nice, almost Venetian blind or jet turbine radial look to this that I find very captivating. Again, it's that storytelling. It's the machine aesthetic that makes this watch appealing, and it's the machine that drives the aesthetic. The machine is in the driver's seat here, not the other way around. Now, turning the watch over one more time, you see that it's cohesive on both sides. This watch is one of only 100 made, and so whenever you're dealing with Linda Verdlin, you're going to be dealing with something like 22, 44, 29, 88, 100 units built. It's never going to be the kind of watch that you see on every street corner or in every retailer. Linda Verdlin watches are made in exceptionally limited volume, and a big part of that is the labor-intensive case manufacture. So rest assured, you may see an Hublot Big Bang at every store. You might see an Audemars Piguet at every office. You're not going to see a Linda Verdlin, possibly even in every office building, even in downtown Manhattan, with a modular strap system that allows you to swap out Linda Verdlin straps at home using their proprietary tool. Really, all you need is a hex key. You don't even need the tool if you don't have it. And the ability to choose between pin buckles and their own deployments. You've got a lot of options here. This is a customizable watch. Available from WatchYouWant.com with full Linda Verdlin boxes, papers, documents of provenance, and accessories. This is the nouveau competitor to the old guard of Hublot and Audemars Piguet. Gaining in strength, gaining presence in the North American market, this is a watchmaker that's already gained great respect. Designed in Copenhagen, administered out of London, and born in Switzerland, this is a watch that is distinctly different. So if you're looking for a sports watch with the modern aesthetic but off the beaten path, consider this Linda Verdlin Spida Speed 2, available from WatchYouWant.com.